Egg yolk. It is the best part of the eggs for sure. Without it, eggs are just boring. And when you use it on steaks, it is delicious. But today, we're gonna make it even better, as I'll be running an awesome experiment. And for that, I'm gonna be using these three beautiful steaks. They are choice grade, one and a half inches, and not the best looking steaks for a reason, as what I'm about to do with them is gonna make them better. And the first thing we gotta do is to get them seasoned. I went with salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. Now, once I was happy with the seasoning, I went ahead, bagged them up, vacuum sealed them, and they are now ready for sous vide. Talking about that, I'm cooking all of them at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. And that's fantastic because it allows me time to go ahead and prepare the egg yolks. First thing to do is to crack them up and remove the egg whites. Now in many countries, you can eat the egg yolk raw just like this. However, here in the US, it's not recommended. And that's because it's not fully pasteurized. And to do that, sous vide makes it super simple. All you gotta do is throw them in the sous vide bath at 135 degrees Fahrenheit, leaving them there for one hour will do the job. Because once the time is up, you can take them out and look. They still have a raw texture. However, they are fully pasteurized. And the next thing I wanted to do was to go ahead and make it as smooth as possible. And for that, using a sieve makes the job really easy. In the end, take a look. I got nice runny yolk. And I'm adding a second ingredient also. That would be cured egg yolks. To make it, it's super simple. You just get a mixture of salt and sugar. Then you add your egg yolks to them, cover it up, and let it cure in your refrigerator for five days. Once you have done so, you take them out and look. Perfectly cured egg yolks. I can tell you one thing, these are fantastic. Let's see if we can make them even better. And to do so, I'm gonna be cold smoking them. So I first added my cured egg yolks, followed by the sous vide one we just made. Covered it up, turn on my smoke gun, and let that thing smoke as much as possible. This is the best way I know how to use real smoke flavor in anything. Because now that everything is nicely smoked, it's gonna be the final touches to our steaks. Because now I'm gonna share with you a Brazilian style smoked mashed potato side dish. And I'll tell you one thing, this is ridiculously easy to make. And at the same time, super delicious. Now the first thing we're gonna need is some sausage. I have some Brazilian calabresa available, but if you can't find these, kielbasa should work just fine. Now the first thing to do is to go ahead and boil the potatoes. Once that's done, I went ahead and passed them through a sieve. I want this thing as smooth as possible. And if you don't want any lumps, this is the way to go. Once that was done, I went ahead and threw the mashed potato into my mixer bowl, added two sticks of butter, and ran it on low for five minutes. This will incorporate the butter perfectly. Trust me on this one, friends. It's gonna be delicious. Now to finish this up, it's pretty simple. Into a clay pot, I threw in the mashed potatoes, cut up all of my sausage and cheese. So I went ahead and added right on top. Once that was done, it was now ready to go into the smoker. And for that, I'm gonna be using my rack tack. It's gonna be putting a nice smoky flavor on it. After about 30 minutes, I took it out and look. The cheese has completely melted and infused into the mashed potato. To finish it up, I just added some parsley and that is today's side dish. Easy, simple, and delicious. Talking about delicious, by these times, my steaks were fully cooked. So I immediately removed them from the bag and immediately patted them dry so that we can put a nice sear. Cause I cannot wait to find out which egg yolk is gonna taste better. The cured one or the fresh egg yolk sauce? Because I know exactly what you're thinking. My steaks don't look that good right now. But watch this. Alright everybody, here we got our beautiful steak with a very nice side dish. I got Mr. Angel, Mr. David. Are you guys hungry? I'm ready. I'm ready to go. That is always good. What is that? Egg yolk. Oh, he knows. Did you know? Cured egg yolk, man. It's cured egg Wow, this guy is a culinary uh, aficionado over here. And I want your honest and brutal opinion about this one. Enough talking, let's dig in. Please, gentlemen, we're gonna go right here. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Dang, that is soft. It's so tender. So tender. Absolutely delicious, everybody. I've been cooking sous a little bit over 10 years now, everybody. It doesn't get old. It is one of the best methods for you to use. It tastes like it's trying to be a charcoal steak, but it will never be a charcoal steak. <laughs> and it just feels like it's not a real steak. What it's do you mean? so soft and it's so like good. It just feels like it shouldn't be real. It's like too perfect. What? Why are you laughing, David? That was a good description. <laughs> With that being said, let's go for the second one. 
All right, dig in. Tell me if you smell different. Ooh, oh. It does, and it's not the yolk. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Mmm. I'm a fan. Wow. wow, I'm a fan too. I'm not gonna lie, I think this has to be one of my favorite steaks. Your favorite steaks? Yeah, this, wow. is, this is top three. That is amazing, everybody. It's so nice, flavorful, creamy from the actual egg yolk. The smokiness hits really hard, but that egg yolk like rounds it out like perfectly. It's just super nice balance of flavors right there. I think the smokiness really enhanced on that egg yolk. By the way, that's what I did. Smoked the egg yolk? Yeah. It was so smoky, I thought you smoked the steak. No, 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 just the egg yolk. I think egg yolk shaved up on the top of a steak like this is actually one of the best things you could do for I a steak. I agree. Honestly, like one of the best. So now I got a little side dish right here. I want to know about this one. Give me your honest opinion. Let's give this a go. Enough talking, let's try it. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Wow, 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 wow. This is so damn good. Buttery, cheesy, and smoky, probably the best combination for potatoes you can have. It is honestly silky smooth, and it's crazy because the smokiness, like you said, and the butteriness, it, does, it all comes together. Perfect. It works together so well. Very good. That is delicious. Easy to make, especially if you have a uh, mixer at home, but if you don't, muscle through it, baby. With that being said, that's delicious. Enough talking, let's try the very last steak. I'm curious, I really mm -hmm. wanna know. Now, cured egg yolk, as you guys know, it can take a little bit of time. It takes anywhere between seven days to five days. This one, on the other hand, it just takes hours. So, I'm very cured. Enough talking, let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, damn. Oh my God. That is money. It's like the perfect combination. Egg yolks and steak, everybody, is just phenomenal. I feel like you just get so much more creaminess than you do with the shaved egg yolk. I'm kind of in between the last two. I think I'm going for this one. I think this one's the best one. Just cause of the creaminess of the egg yolk being more runny. So I agree as well, because this one is easier to make, everybody. If it's easier to make, you're gonna make it more often. It works very, very well, and we highly recommend. Agree? Agree. I agree. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. Remember, everything I use is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.